How's it going, YouTube land? Um, am I the only one that has a kid that likes to touch every single light switch on the planet? Eh, probably not. And so um, we have a specific light switch that I definitely do not want him touching. And uh, he is trying to, he always, he's always turning on the fireplace. Our fireplace is uh, on a switch. It's a, it's a gas fireplace. So I am trying to figure out a way to do this. Now we have rocker switches in our house. So I decided, I, I looked up rocker switches, uh, you know, protectors, and they're about 12 bucks, anywhere from, any, you know, from like nine to $12 a piece on Amazon to get these little protectors um, so that your kid can't turn them on and off easily. So I just started thinking about it and I thought, well, you know what? I think I have a perfect fix and this is it. So it's a really simple thing. So I just bought a plain, uh, you know, light switch, you know, or, you know, cover that doesn't have anything on it. Now I drilled two holes and, you know, cleaned them up a little bit, you know, so that they were, you know, you know, soft. And then what you will do, I'll, I'll show you how this works um, in just a minute, but um, what you do is you just attach it to the current faceplate using a longer um, style screw so that it actually goes in. And then you can get to the rocker switch using, you know, a, a, um, a chopstick or something like that. That's what, that's what we're going to be using. And uh, so this way you'll be able to do this for 50 cents. Okay, go. Okay, so I did realize that this hole does not match this hole when you do it, so I had to redrill a, a different hole for each one of those so that it matches up. Um, but it goes over the top like that, and then your screw will go in there. And boom. Way to go, Dad. Thanks, Brislin. <laughs> Need the right screw head. I have them. Oh. Here, don't have some screws. I don't know what that is. And screw it down. Like so. I'll show you the bottom one in a second, but, or I'll do the bottom one in a second, but the idea is now you can turn this on by just pushing in there. I'm not gonna turn it on right now because I have the, it's the fire, but you just push in there and boom, you have a, protective switch for your kids. Good enough. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Good enough. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with it? Look on it. Can you, does it work? No. Oh, you can't use it anymore. Why, what? Fire on. No, only mommy and daddy can turn the fire on now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you guys out and keeps your kids safe. Thanks.